Hello everyone. I welcome you all to Simply Learn. In today's session, we'll discuss Pearson's correlation and how you can use Excel and Python to calculate the correlation coefficient. Before we move ahead, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so so that you never miss on an update. Let's discuss the agenda for today's session. We'll start by discussing what is correlation and correlation coefficient. Then We'll move on to discuss Pearson's rank correlation and its formula. Then we'll move on to Excel and Python to see how you can calculate the Pearson's rank correlation coefficient. So, what is correlation? The two variables are said to be correlated if the change in one variable results in a corresponding change in another variable. It can be positive or negative. For example, the price and demand of a product are in correlation. As the demand of a product increases, the price increases simultaneously. The value of the correlation always lies between minus 1 to plus 1. Minus 1 shows a strong negative correlation. 0 shows that there is no relationship between the two variables. And plus 1 shows that there is a very strong correlation between the two variables. Some of the examples can be the time spent on e-commerce website versus the money spent by the customers. It can be taken as an example of positive correlation. Number of unique users versus sales in a day are also correlated. Correlation can also be used to measure the patient's blood pressure and the medication used. Now let's discuss what is Pearson's correlation. Pearson's correlation coefficient is a statistical test that measures the relationship or association between the two continuous variables. It is known as the best method for measuring the association between the two variables because it gives the relationship between the magnitude of the association as well as the direction of the relationship. The formula to calculate the Pearson's rank correlation is R is equal to sigma xi minus x bar bracket yi minus y bar divided by under root of sigma sigma xi minus x bar whole square, yi minus y bar whole square. In this case, r is the coefficient of correlation, x bar is the mean of x variable and y bar is the mean of y variable. And xi and y are samples of the variable x and y. Now that we know the Pearson's rank correlation, let's move on to Excel and then Python to see how you can calculate these rank correlation coefficient. So here we are on our Excel workbook. As you can see, we have two columns. One is test scores and other is hours spent on studying. We have to find the correlation between the two. That means how the test scores and the number of hours spent on studying affect each other. So to do that, we'll first move on to data tab and we'll set data analysis. Here, we'll go on to correlation and click OK. Now, it is asking for input range. So, here we'll select both the columns as an input range. We have the labels in our first row, so we'll check on the labels. Now for the output range, we'll give the output range in the same sheet. So we'll select these cells for our output range. We we'll click OK. And now you'll see the test scores and hours spent on studying are very positively correlated, that is 0.98, which shows a very strong correlation. It means as the number of hours spent on studying increases, the test score will definitely increase. There is one more way to calculate the correlation using function. So to calculate the correlation between test scores and hours spent on studying, we will type equal to correl tab and now it is asking for array 1 and array 2. Let us open this function. So this is asking for array 1. So our array 1 is this range and our array 2 is hours spent on studying. When you click OK, you will get the same value that is 0.98. So there are two ways by which you can calculate the correlation. That's it. I hope you understood this example. Now let's move on to Python to see how you can calculate the correlation using the Python. So here we are on a Jupyter notebook. Let's see how you can use the Jupyter Notebook and Python 
to calculate the correlation coefficient that is pss correlation coefficient so first we'll feed the data that we have used for our excel example let's start by importing numpy now in our data sheet we had the test scores so we'll write the scores scores and the scores were 95 36 58 95 39 42 97 99 and 42 for the duration of hours you have 61256 6 1 2 Five, six, two. So we have entered both the data of scores and hours. Now to calculate the correlation coefficient, we'll use the function C O R I correlation coefficient, and we'll mention both the data sets. That is scores and hours. Now let's run to see if we get the same value as in Excel. So you can see we have the same value of 0 0.980 as a correlation coefficient, and it matches with our Excel data. So in this way, you can calculate a correlation coefficient using Python. That's it. We have come to an end to this tutorial. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. Thank you again and happy learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.